Ethereum announced its merge or transition to the Proof-of-Stake network on, to be on the 19th of September. So discussing a staking protocol built for Ethereum 2.0 would be quite relevant now. Obol Network is a staking protocol built for distributed validation on Ethereum 2.0. It sits right on top of the blockchain and it allows for distributed validation. This means that basically several multiple machines can run the same validator node and their responsibility is distributed across all of them instead of relying on one single client. The problem with how staking works now where there is just one client per one validator is uh, that if that client fails, there is nobody to replace it. The whole system may fail. So there, is n there cannot be another person who can come to replace it because if they try to log in with the same private key, both validators are going to be slashed and that's it, that you're done, the whole system has failed. Additionally, it is quite pricey. The current minimum amount to be staked is 32 Ethereum to become a validator. And that is about $32,000 at the moment. And this number is probably only going to be rising in the future, hopefully. <laughs> this distributed validator technology allows for several operators to behave like a single node. So there is one node and it is all distributed across multiple machines, which is kind of cool because it promotes decentralization, first of all, because you do not need to have 32 Ethereum alone. You can just collect it all together with your friends running a single node. Second of all, it is more secure and resistant towards outside attacks because neither of the people inside the validator cluster have the full private key. So it does not exist in anywhere in full, but everybody has a part of it separately. Thirdly, it is more reliable and makes the whole system fault tolerant. This is because not all the validator nodes inside the one single node need to be online to be signing transactions. So it is like engines in an airplane. There are many of them, but if one of them goes busted, and let's say one validator has their hardware broken or they go on holiday and they forget to renew the node or whatever, it doesn't mean that the whole system is going to be busted. It only means that, yeah, somebody is going to take over their work. And um, that is the perk of having multiple people and multiple machines running the same node. While this technology is going to be first functioning on Ethereum 2.0 and its beacon chain, it can also be used across other blockchains as well, and especially proof of stake. So whatever you need it, and you can use it as a building block because it's, as I said, it sits right on top of the blockchain. So you can just put it on top of any other. And now let's get to the four cores that uh, Obol Network consists of. First one is a distributed validator launchpad. This is a website to make it convenient for you to meet other people and to find them to run the validator node with. Second one is Charon or Sharon, I'm not really sure. I kept saying it wrong and it is actually pronounced as Karen. So basically Charon is a middleware between your node and the beacon chain node or that node on the Ethereum 2.0. And yeah, the middleware, that's it. The third component of the Obol network is Obol managers. That is a set of Solidity smart contracts that runs the coordination of the distributed validators. And the fourth, the last but not the least component is Obol network testnets. There are going to be five of them and two devnets have already passed. So now we are onto the first public testnet. The first public testnet is not incentivized, however, the second one is, but about that later. If you join, you are paired with another person and you are running a validator node. The whole thing runs in August and there are going to be two weeks to form a cluster and four weeks to run the whole validator node. The second public testnet is going to run then afterwards in September, so they're just consecutive. You should look out for the registration for that one quite soon as well, on Twitter and on Discord, best places. All the links in the description for that. And also the link for the registration for the first testnet as well, because there might be still perks for participating in the non-incentivized one. As for the funding, Obol Network has acquired over $6.15 million over just one round, from Coinbase Ventures, Ethereal Ventures, Delphi Digital, and quite a few investors. I'm going to leave the link to the full list in the description. That was it I wanted to tell you about Obol Network. Even if the merge is not happening in uh, September, it is still going to happen at some point. So this technology seems to me like a valid solution for the future decentralization problems that we might have with staking. And that was it. See you in the next video.